All right, I'm in a Windows 7 client machine now, and I want to join this client computer, this Windows 7 machine, to the domain. So to do that, we have to contact the Windows Server 2008 domain controller, and we have to join the domain. And also in order to do that, to contact the server, we have to be on the same network, and we are. We're on a private network. This is a 192.168.11 network. So I'm going to just show you the network configuration to start with. I'm going to go to my control panel. I'm going to go to Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center. On the left-hand side, click Change Adapter Settings. All right, you can see I have a wireless NIC, wireless Ethernet that I've disabled. And then I've got a wired Ethernet that I have active, and I'm going to right-click on it, go to Properties, and show you the configuration. So here's the property dialog box. I'll highlight TCP IP version 4, and then I'll go to properties, and you can see here that I've already manually configured my IP address. This is something that most clients don't do. Usually you have it set to obtain an IP address automatically, and you get an IP address automatically from your router or from your server that's serving DHCP IP addresses. So you need a DHCP server to pick up an automatic IP address. But on this network right now, we don't have that. So you have to manually configure your IP address. And I've given myself a 192.168.11.251 address. That means I'm host number 251. Okay, then this is the subnet mask. And then this is my router or my gateway, 192.168.11.1. For my DNS server, I'm using a um, private DNS server that's on this college network that we have over here. And so, you know, I've got that DNS server set up, right? And so now I'm on the same network. And what I can do is I can do one more test to try to um, ping the server before I join the, try to join the domain. So I'll run a command prompt here and I'll try to ping my server. Ping 192. 168.11 and my server is actually number 68 so I'll type in 192.168.11.68 and you'll see here that I can ping the server so I can communicate with the server so I'm ready to try to join the domain so to do that I'm going to go start I'm going to right click on computer and I'm going to go to rename no that's not what I want I was thought that was going to do something else <laughs> To do that, I'm going to go Start, I'm going to right click on Computer, and I'm going to go to Properties, and then I'm going to click on Advanced System Settings. And when I click on Advanced System Settings, I'm going to go to the Computer Name tab, and right here you can see that the name of this computer is Image2-PC, so this is my client. And then I'm in a work group right now, which is the default. And the default work group is named work group. And that's the Windows default work group. And I'm to join a domain. I'm going to click change right here to rename this computer, change this domain, work group, click change. So I'll just click here. And then I'll click on domain. And I'll type in my domain name, dansgames.com. This is the domain name that I gave my domain controller on my Windows server. And I'll click OK. And it's going to try to contact Dan's Games to have me join the domain. You see it throws up an error. And it says that the Active Directory domain controller for this domain could not be contacted. Well, why is that? You know, and a, a lot of you, the first time you do this, you might get this, this error. So you're not even able to contact your server. And you're saying, well, what's, what's the deal? I'm on the same network. I pinged the server. You know, how, can, how come that's happening? Well, the reason that's happening is that DNS is trying to resolve dansgames.com and when it resolves dansgames.com on the internet it doesn't send you to this server that you have on your local um, on your local network necessarily so uh, dansgames.com is contacted right but there is no server on the other end to join the domain with so my server is not located at that location right so um, if it was, then that maybe that would have worked, but it isn't. So this is on a private network right now, and um, dansgames.com is, is pointing to uh, a web server somewhere, right? And so 
and so it's not being con we're not being contacted to this private server that I have going on here. So to solve that problem, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my network connection. I'm going to right click on my local area connection, go to properties. I'm going to highlight my TCP IP version 4 again, right? I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to change the DNS setting. Instead of using a DNS, a public DNS server or a private DNS server that's actually going out onto um, the, the uh, global DNS servers uh, to resolve names to IP addresses, I'm going to put in the IP address here of my Windows server. So I'm going to put in 192.168. One nine two dot one six eight dot eleven dot sixty eight. Now this is the this is the IP address of my Windows server on my local network. Now my Windows server is also running DNS uh, services, so I can just contact my local server directly one nine two one six eight dot eleven dot sixty eight, and then we'll be able to resolve the name and and join the domain. So one nine two one six eight eleven dot sixty eight is my Windows server. And so now I'll hit close. And now when I try to do this, I'll click back over here um, in system, go to advanced system settings, and I'll click on computer name, change, and I'll try to join the domain. So dansgames.com, click OK, and instantly it connects to the server. And right now I can put in my the server administrator's name, right? So I'm going to put in my server administrator uh, credentials. Administrator, and I'll put in the password. And I'll click OK, and we'll see if we can join the domain. And we get the welcome message, welcome to dansgames.com. So I was able to join the domain and now I get another message that when I restart my computer, I'll be, I'll be able to log on to the domain for the first time.